We're joined with Jeremy Woodard, who was the Fast Cafe player of the game tonight. Jeremy, every time we looked out there, it seemed like you were around the football making a big play. You know, just doing my job. Defensively, this team really has turned it on. I thought second half it had been easy with the, the things, adversity you faced in the first half. You could have rolled over and played dead, but second half you came out, you held them scoreless after being down by 10 and actually finished the game on a 17-0 run. What were you, you looking for? It looked like you continued to be aggressive and, you know, seemed to not get down when the bad things happen. Well, I got a good feel of the game, man. So I, I used, just didn't ask me. I thought it was going to be a tougher. It's not just what I expected. So, yeah, we're just kicking kick it up. Big, it big play. They came out, and first time I think they pitched it all night on the option, and y'all were there to create the turnover. You fell on the ball, though. Were y'all kind of looking for him to do that, or what were you looking and thinking on that play? Well, Coach was talking about the, don't let the receiver block me. So I got rid of receiver, and I saw, I saw the quarterback's getting the pitch. So, and I, when I saw him miss the pitch, I just went and hopped on it. Which I've been here, I just hopped on so the offense get back on the field. 2 and 0 to start the season. How does it feel to get off to this kind of start? That oh, feels great, Coach. Finally got your first home game coming up next week. Y'all gonna have to be the Road Warriors, but you got a tough Seneca team coming to Royal Stadium. What's your thoughts on that? Well, play hard. That's all we can. Need to be thinking. You get to come to Fats Cafe. We get to fix you up with some good food up there. But congratulations on being the Fats Cafe Player of the Game tonight. Thanks.